Hello and welcome to the J Train Podcast. This is J Train Jared Free coming to you live from oh. Feather Nation Studios. Welcome to the new J Train Podcast. I'm here with my co host, yeah. back again. Back again. Nathan McIntosh. Yeah. Lighting. Pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. How are we? Are we okay? We're good since five seconds yeah, ago. That's the best yeah. day of my life. Yeah, that's the best day yeah. of my life. I'm having a great time. Yeah. I do a thing called Coffee with J Train, where I have a cup of coffee and I you know, I do this on Patreon a lot. I wanted to bring it into the JCU, the sure. free view, mm. the free version. We go to Patreon at the end of this episode. On the road. I'm gonna tell you like a, it, it, this isn't even a heckler story. Do you ever have anyone? Has anyone ever held up a sign at your shows? No. What? <laughs> my fucking Ray Mysterio. Yeah. What? Are, what am I? Who the fuck am I? I'm not the Today Show. Yeah. Exactly. Like, right. <laughs> well, this is the thing. Doing I'm, the weather. <laughs> I'm I was broker. like, say hi to Ohio. <laughs> right. Well, I go and do shows uh, in San Diego, and I'm getting messages. Sometimes leading into a show. I'm getting messages over DM that I can mm-hmm. tell are like a little Ooh. too hopped up. Yeah, everyone's ready. Ready, and am I gonna, you know, and I'll, I've answered people. I heart a lot of things. Mm-hmm. People who listen right now, I've probably hearted their things or responded and had conversations. All sweet and nice. Usually 95% are pretty good. Sometimes leading into a show, I, I'm getting like the play-by-play from someone and I'm not even answering. Or I've answered in the past and they take that as you're in San Antonio. So I'm just going to message, message. We're getting drinks. We're walking in. We're yeah. at the seats. Oh, really? I'll get that a lot. Okay. Yeah. okay. Which I understand that too. But I also, in my mind, when that is happening prior to a show, mm-hmm. you go, I might have an issue. Even though it's the greatest night right. for them. It's enthusiasm that needs to be checked. Right. And you you guys know this. If someone's at a show in the front row going, ah, 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 from minute one, you have to like live in reality. Yeah. You know, like you have You're to. Like, I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> right. So oh. Nathan's already looking at the screen. Oh. Hold on. So I, I go to San Diego. I had great shows in San Diego. <laughs> Mic drop comedy. Uh, great club. Fun club. It's, it's like in this strip mall, but they've made it into their own like cool space. It's got an Alice in Wonderland theme. It's just they're doing more than a comedy club (laughs) needs to do. Leading into the show, again, I have stuff that's out there that's like me being Jewish. I talk about dating. I I understand that like there's an element of like I found you through Jewish humor and... Well, you talking about dating puts you in a slightly different category than the rest of us sometimes because no one's coming to a show of mine that's just like, are you sick? I can't wait to go at like that's because it's not something I talk about right. all the time. So it's like it I is, have a dating podcast. Right. I, like, I it give is a dating advice. An I mean, extra the con- layer of that that right. like doesn't apply to like the average. Right. And I think someone could lose track of that. Like I'm there yes. to do the show. Right. Like I'm not there to like. And if you've gone to shows now, there's so many podcast live shows. Yeah. That you go, they might. Everyone at a comedy club might have a different idea of what this is going to be. Yeah. Totally. Some 100%. people might think this is going to be just like, like I've, I've been a guest on Girls Gotta Eat's show. Sure. They take stories from in the crowd and tell these people's stories and everyone has a good laugh. I'm not, they, I come with like a prepared show with bits yeah. that has no need for random woman in the- Participation. Participation. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to sound better, Participation. <laughs> I was going to say random woman screaming maniac s- screaming story about the guy that didn't text her back right. which I've done a you up live show we've taken those submissions we do those there so I'm getting messages from this person about how they're a nice Jewish girl nice Jewish girl nice Jewish girl now and can I, I ask you a question sure outside of this show right outside of this being a show is this something that you'd be like oh cool somebody coming mm. at you like that I'm I nice think Jewish. if it was I, just a message yes 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 Cute, good question. Nathan. Yeah, the whole thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Gold star. Gold star. <laughs> this is a good question. It is to me. There are certain Jewish things that I eye roll immediately. Mm. If someone's gonna it, nice Jewish boy, nice Jewish girl, I eye roll that. 
I think it's a weird... On the outside, it sounds like something like a grandmother would say about somebody. That is where it comes from. Yeah, Absolutely. and that's why if somebody said it meaningfully to the direct person, I would do the same thing. It feels like, yeah. what? They're kind of, it's kind of in the land of, and we're going to get to this later in the episode in our interview with Passenger Shaming to, you know, get ahead. It's in the land of um, Mad Libs, agreeable things that have been said that are like, Funny, you're like kind of co-opting a personality. Yes. Because Allison, you're right. It started with like grandmother's like, he's a yes. nice Jewish it's boy. Like, it's a matchmaking culture. So it's like, he's a nice Jewish boy. You'll like him. You'll go out with exactly. him. You know him. He's Nathan from down the street. But, but he, like, he, she but he should say that. Say that exactly. About you can't you say can't that about yourself. yourself. The yeah. joke is repeating it. The joke is now hack because it's been yes. repeated so much by people with not that great a personality. Yeah. yeah. To put it bluntly. Yeah. So and that's what most hacky things yeah, have become. Yeah, reference culture. Exactly. So, and another thing I don't like, member of the tribe. Mm -mm. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it so much. I think it's like dumb. Anytime someone says it, they think that they're funny. Like I, I can see yeah. a sense of love yeah. for, se the, like, they, I, like I can't believe, like uh -huh. I would be like, whoa, what this fucking Woody Allen here? You know, like I, I think there's a little too much like, also, as somebody who's Jewish and Native American, don't love it. Right. <laughs> I can understand that completely. It's like, what are we talking what about? What are you doing? I'm like, which one? <laughs> right. And so and I also don't like um, pizza bagel. No. Nope. Jewish Italians who call themselves pizza bagels. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Get out of no, here with that. I like a pizza bagel. Do like a pizza bagel. But also, again, a woman saying That's I'm it. a nice Jewish girl doesn't, it doesn't, I, I don't know who it would like entice or, or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who who would go like, oh, great. Two people, I think a guy who would use, I, get, I don't think this, this is exclusive. This sign is like. I don't think it's exclusive to gender. This I is, think like yeah. the same. I, I'm sure, I'm just talking about this specifically. And that that sign, As that sign, if you, look, this man, I apologize. I know we're getting more into this. Any man <laughs> with a dick, right? Yeah. Loses it, gone, right off of his body when he sees that bright green and this pink arrow and the like who are you gonna how do you fuck this well that person's eight <laughs> they're eight <laughs> it does feel very pep rally that's a it fucking feels very pep rally. so this so i get on stage and so i'm getting this messages from a specific person yes and then i get on stage in san diego and a woman holds this sign up and this is the sign i'm showing it on youtube if you're watching so... i'm a nice jewish girl and and, and single and then it says NJG, which I've never used the acronym. Also, it's a bad acronym, just kind of like NJG. It doesn't like, work. It just doesn't work. There's arrows pointing to it for if you're listening on uh, podcast. Pink, pink, pink arrows. Bright pink arrows. It's got arrows. lime green. It's and, also, and then, it looks oh. like she ate it and threw it up. Why is it all banged up? <laughs> <laughs> right, it doesn't look like it's all the the sign itself is just all like ripped up and stuff. I don't right. know if this was the end of the night or when that. No, was. so it's a me. I get on stage, and here's the thing: like, Swear. if someone yelled out at you the minute you got on stage no. or, or held up a sign, this isn't something we're happy about. No, as comedians, like, I, listen, I am, I am flattered, sure. but you've just created an obstacle course right. that we, I didn't prepare for. Now we, this isn't a show. This is kind of a, an adventure. Can we right. take this sign? I can't look at yeah, it. It's <laughs> un- Hates the sign. Please, so I just, up. I picture a four-year-old at your show, dude. So, <laughs> that's what I picture, seriously. So I I, I get on stage and and, and she's oh, not in the so back cool. either. Don't look ahead. Damn okay. it, what is up there? What am I supposed to do? Look at him, this not the story. Screen. Fucking so, fuck. Okay. This is Coffee with J-Train, not Coffee with Screen. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh, coffee with screen. Like every morning I have coffee with screen. Right. So yeah, this is a different, <laughs> different than your morning. Yeah. So I, I, I go on stage and she's in the middle of the showroom. So I, she's blocking off the back. And, and again, ugh. we know ugh. as comedians, and ugh. I think anyone who's going to be public speaking, getting angry in a public speaking is not the way to go. No. Can, can I say this to you too? And I apologize well. to keep interjecting. <laughs> if he, anybody, and I know she's of age, anybody that sleeps with this lady after seeing that sign is a pedophile. <laughs> this, that <laughs> sign, on Epstein's plane. that <laughs> sign is so awful. Yeah. Like what the, f I can't get over the sign. My most empathetic self says it's a miscalculation yes. of what would be enjoyed by someone on stage. 
if, again, I, I live in an empathetic world. I always think Benefit of why. Benefit of doubt so, for a moment. Totally. You were excited for the show. You're excited to see me. You connected on us being Jewish. You're single. You think maybe. You're shooting your shot. A little bit. But that's, and but there's a eight. better way to do it. 100%. This no, is not. I'm not defending this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nathan is so confident. I'm, I'm truly about. like, uh, like, like, I the, the, the thought process. I understand what you're saying. I have a lot of empathy for people. Right. This is like. Here's what children I Children beyond children. Here's what I would also say. This is not the first time this has happened. I was That's Dan wild. <laughs> Dania Beach, another girl held up a sign. I'm a nice Jewish girl. Do you think it's the warm weather that's driving these people insane? <laughs> something. Something. <laughs> San Diego, Dania Beach. It, like, it was. <laughs> and and the girl in Dania Beach, her friend was pointing at her, and it's like, you know, right. and it was a fine moment. It's whatever. Here's the thing. Um, I get on stage. And she holds up a sign and I go, you have to acknowledge it. You can't just like ignore it. And listen, I've ignored things before and it doesn't work. No. Can't Through, ignore that. You can't ignore, ignore that. that. So I go, hey, what's happening? She holds up the sign. She's screaming. I go, <laughs> what is she screaming? <laughs> I, I don't even remember. And I just this go. This is when you're coming out and she's just like. Ah! Right. She's also I, covered in glitter, has pigtails, <laughs> right. wearing a Taylor Swift t-shirt. Her dad's Torah. there. She has a Torah next to her. <laughs> she's a child. Yeah, yeah. The baby. <laughs> Yeah, her mother, I'm at her bat mitzvah. Her yeah. mother is is a bottle feeding her. <laughs> so, and if you haven't seen, go to YouTube to watch see the sign that we're talking about. If Please you're listening, look at it. Uh, you got to go see it, or we'll post it on the Instagram. We can. Well, it'll be on there. Or so, fun. I she holds up the sign, and I go, "Hey, San Diego!" And I go, "Oh, what is this?" And I look at it, and I go, "Nice Jewish girl," and also crazy. So. Yeah. That was my way out of it. It's right. not People really. Left. I'm acknowledging it, but I'm also People telling you I'm left. not right. engaging. Like yeah. I'm like, that's crazy. Thank you. We're leaving it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a little crazy. And you're also crazy. And I don't like that I called her crazy. Like I kind of like had a little bit of a moment. Like ah, I could have done better with it than I had done. Also, it's not like a regular heckle that you usually have. Kind of like oh, when someone says something like this, I kind of know how to say. It. But like that's a new. That's out of left field. That's you're not. Is, that's the nicest thing. This is improv say. seven. Yeah. Did you also? One. Did you also? So whoever opened for you, they didn't see the sign. So so you had zero idea that there was a sign. I had no idea. Okay. So yeah. What so, are you gonna yeah, do, man? Like, no that's the reaction, and it's like a fine one again. So then. It goes away, and I like continue the show. She and started eating it. She's, she had her baby <laughs> I'm formula. Out. I'm gonna <laughs> right. So I I move on. The end of the show, I do pictures, and nice Jewish girl doesn't show up for pictures. In my mind, I was like, did I insult this person? Like, right. did I call her crazy? And she that. took that right. like in a was way she embarrassed, that, or... embarrassed, whatever. And I kind of felt right. I kind of felt bad about it because I was like, yeah. if she didn't take a picture, like to me. The moment she was, came for the picture, right? That that's right. She and, came for the Jared. Well, she came to leave with a married. She wanted to marry a man. She they, came to Jared at some point. That sign. Uh, that sign is. I want to you. date you today. <laughs> Please leave the stage. Tell the audience, guys. Show's over. The show's I done. I found my lady. Walk off. Pick me up. That's so funny you say that because I was like actually getting annoyed. I'm going. What did they expect out of this interaction? Did they expect me to like? bring them on stage and like have this moment with them Play and like the propose game? to them. Right, I don't know what they expected if this wasn't enough for them. Yes. To me, take a picture after, we'll take it with a sign, that's fun. I think in Dania Beach, we did that with the girl who did yeah, it there. Yeah, so, that's so, like a fun, like that's like a fun full circle, like all right, everybody got what they needed out of this. You got your attention, yes, yes, yes. I have a story. I'm we totally on. on board for that. Sure. And so when nothing happened, I went home, I'm in the Uber, and it hit me a little bit. And I got a little anxious from it. I was like, oh, I don't want to make someone feel bad. Yeah. Sure. And then I go home and to the hotel the next day, have a whole day, and I get a message from nice Jewish girl's friend. Oh, no. Her friend? Her Jared, friend? My friend and I went to see you last night. Uh, we're going to have to cut out her yeah. picture and all this stuff. Hi, Jared. Uh, my friend and I went to see you last night. She was the one that held the nice Jewish girl poster. After horrible miscommunication from management and staff, we left. They didn't like that my friend held the poster up. We were hoping to be able to interact with you, but left after the manager oh. threatened to kick out my friend for holding the poster. I feel bad. I felt Not bad. Not for making fun of the poster, but like that, I like there's a lot of things that happen at clubs that people don't get kicked out for that is much more disruptive than. Right. Eh, eh. I also didn't believe this message 
wholeheartedly. Okay, sure. sure. I, 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 yes. Like, yeah. And and here's where I don't Seriously. I don't know if this jumps out at you because people do this a lot. They're like, I uh, all I was doing was laughing when they were fully fucking yeah, having screaming. two phone and, calls. Yeah, right? <laughs> Two phone calls. And the manager Operator. comes over. Sell, <laughs> buy, sell, buy. The manager comes over and told me to be quiet. I'm laughing. Right. No, no, no. We hear this all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's, true. We, that's, and, true. that's true. That's true. And the part of this that like jumped out at me, we were hoping to be able to interact yes, with. That's yes. the problem. That's the problem. That's where my sensors go off. Yes. Everything else on there, I'm with you. I go. Yeah. Oh, maybe the management came down too hard on her yeah, or whatever. Or they were embarrassed by even getting talked to or like whatever. You know, Absolutely. You know. I know how these things can go. Totally. So like now, again. Yeah, interact is a word that really. We're uh, hoping to interact. What it means. Also, right. is this girl seven? What? what well, who are these children? Well, no, I'm just older. sorry. She looked like a she, in the picture. She looked like a child. No, there's she's an older. She's good. They're age appropriate. Everyone I know they're age appropriate, but still, this okay. whole thing is. Well, the whole idea of it's childlike. The, yes. You know, the whole idea of, like, we were hoping to interact with you. What, what, interact. What, you were hoping to do a show of you your own? You did. The pink right, highlighter. We did it. We, we had it. We the green highlighter. <laughs> the Bristol board. <laughs> so, I get to the club, and I go, and I show, I go to management. Yeah, yeah. I go, what happened? They go, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a real go. story. <laughs> so now, again, there's three sides to every story. Yours, theirs, and the truth. Okay, now I'm getting the other side of the story. They go, oh, man. Well, that person was walking in and they were like hopped up again. I was getting their DM That's all true. day long. Oh, I forgot. That so this I also knew that. that. Right. So I knew that they go. They kept saying they wanted to like flash the audience on stage. <gasps> or she kept saying she wanted to flash the audience. Okay. She was telling everyone she could that she wanted to flash the she audience. She wanted you to bring her up so she could show her tits, tits to, the, to crowd. the crowd. A, I'm, and, and, women. and I heard. And this is a nice <laughs> Jewish right. girl, right? I, I, <laughs> Grandma, come on, who'd you fix me up she, with? She takes her pussy out of clubs. <laughs> She's a nice lady, <laughs> the oldest <laughs> lady I could, the <laughs> oldest lady I could think of. Hanging yeah. on two canes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. two canes. I I said to her, and I said this, and they go, she yelled at the host. And the host, and I remember, I go, the host had to like. The host of the show. The host the, of the, the show, show was not like. like the host. The host right, yeah, the host of the show. Uh, not that you should yell at that person. Sydney, but. who's very funny, she goes up and I guess there was something said along the lines of like that was sexual. And then she yelled out, that's not the only one going down tonight. Something along that. Right. And then she, she yelled out retweet at the host. And like someone came over and shushed them after again. When you walk into a club and you make yourself like. Again, like going to the airport. If someone's doing weird things on their way in, they're going to go keep an eye on that yes. one. So now you've had an eye kept on you. <laughs> so now you come in and they go, we we told them we don't usually allow signs, but we'll make an exception. Yeah. Oh, this isn't wow. WrestleMania. Right? <laughs> so, But I think the reason, if I'm to put in my opinion on this, Please. that they left the sign in is the Jewish angle. There's a lot going on in the Middle East. Sure. Everyone's calling anti-Semitism on everything. Sure, really. So they... Funny. It's very funny. Very funny. It's very I'm funny. I'm probably right. It's it's. I I can't be that far from the truth. They probably look at this. They're like, like, we don't need to make do? this. I don't want to be called. Not. Yeah, right. I don't want to be called Hamas today. <laughs> right. That's hilarious. So and, and that's exactly what happened because they're like, we have a policy of no signs. Like they like, have a this policy. Girl shows up and his. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then I wrote back. <laughs> To the what friend. a way to get signs into a building, by the way. Start off very Jewish and then have other things you want to say underneath. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. no. Just general criticisms yeah. of our culture. Yeah. So I write back, hi, I'm really sorry you guys didn't have a great experience. I was kind of wondering why the person with the sign didn't come and take a picture after. To me, it was a fun moment and that was it. I don't know why it would have been more than it was. I'm sorry that happened. So I'm sorry that happened yes. isn't, I'm sorry the club fucked you over. Right. Like, I don't really believe that. Right. I do believe. I'm sorry, all of this. So the, right, and they said that they like there was a miss. So then she writes back, "All good. We attempted to have a great time. We hope you enjoyed your time in San Diego. And anytime you need a nice Jewish girl, my friend Blank is down. And it's like, Winky face. Why Let's are we still again. sexualizing yeah. this? Let's why, go here again. Right. I, I, this is what children do. Right. My friend likes you. Yeah. I pay tax. Right. Stop. <laughs> Just say you're willing to suck a dick. Grow up. If your friend can't send a message, which I because I read this as this lady is fucking down. Well, there is no, no I, friend. This is girl guy in a. There's no friend. If anyone wonders, 
who the least reasonable people are for hooking up and uh, you know the nature of how women approach men. Yeah. It's men in relationships. You've been in a long time in relationship. Yeah. Bro, any message from a woman, my dad's like, oh, they want you. You know, yeah. like, no. 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 You're telling like me right now that this lady messaged for her friend. I think her so. friend think can't. So she's already. No. Well, then they're eight again. These are eight year olds. No, I, yeah, I think these are eight year olds who have walked into a building, for God's sake. She, so. I, and I think she's excited. I, I think that there is a culture of like, women in particular who like find that fun and exciting. I agree. My friend likes you, especially for like a celebrity. They better be in a high school <laughs> at a cafeteria table. So here's here's the message from now the woman with the sign writes. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hey, was stoked to come see you last night until the owner manager was lame. Again, young, immature, lame. Yeah. I had the nice Jewish girl sign. The owner told me I could hold it for a second. Then the manager was the one telling me to put it down. So I can understand a miscommunication here. Owner says you're allowed. The I just read ahead and I'm sorry. The manager. Dude, I just read ahead and I'm sorry. Hold on, stop. This gets incredible. So hold on. What? Are you telling me this isn't an eight-year-old? <laughs> A fucking butterfly in the goddamn name. There's immaturity at, 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 yes. at hand. So I wrote, she writes, weirdest experience. Uh, hadn't heard of you until I found tickets for the show. Yes. The Do you understand how great that is? Instantly no. thought you were hilarious. So she sees a couple videos and is like, now I'm the biggest fan yes. ever with a sign. That's wild. I that's was a, so that, excited I just, to support I threw my your show and bring a little light to this chaos. Again, there's a, a as far as things telling me what was in their head, bring a little light. No, no, no. I bring the, the light. light. Killed her vibe. You, and, and, and they killed my vibe and my friend and I left. So I wrote back to this person. My brother, I sent this to my brother. My brother goes, do not speak to this person. Yeah. My, oh, wow. My, this my is thought a... is to not engage, but... But I now I'm getting the report from the club, so I'm like, now I'm a little Dude, curious. You came back at her with Treasure Island. <laughs> look, at, look at how long this is. <laughs> She, hey, she read this in four. It took her four days to piece this together. Hey, so I heard from your friend. And I'm sorry to hear that you guys didn't have a great experience. I spoke to the people at the club. They told me that on the way in, you were telling people at the club you wanted to go on stage and had yelled out. And I wasn't going to bring up the flashing card, yeah, yeah. but that, you know, I had yelled out at the host who then had to, had to interact with you. I wrote that very specifically for that reason. Yeah. They said they don't usually allow signs, but it made an exception and then asked you to put it down after our initial interaction. Sure. I'm sorry if you felt you weren't spoken with uh, spoken with the correct way, but generally there are things like uh, things that make someone kind of watched by the club. If someone says they're looking to get on stage, who isn't a comic and then yells enough at the opener to the point where the comic has to deal with them, then it's not a surprise that they would be asked to put down the sign. <laughs> From my end, I spoke to you when it was done and I was going to move on with the show I had planned. So again, I'm sorry you left, but based on the two sides, it makes sense what happened. I hope she responded with, okay, dad, and then block you. <laughs> because that would have been that would have been hilarious, and I would have been back on their side. Right, right, right. All right, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> and then so, blocked you. So I see this. And Woo! I, so then so and and here's the other thing. They they told me so the people so the people she at the seconds. <laughs> the fact that she bar she didn't even know who you were and made a sign, both of these people. What the fuck is yeah. going on? So hold on. So the club then tells me that, that she went to their Yelp, negative Yelp Aye. review, uh, went to their Instagram, uh, negative Instagram stuff. And then they also found the owner's personal Instagram and messaged them there. So like, this is oh, why I was kind of investigating a, yeah, yeah, and, and kind of getting more level. into it. So then she but writes is, back. Can I apologize just to say, this is like her going on their Yelp and being like, I, I went to Applebee's. I took my shirt off. They told me I couldn't do that. One star. What are you even, what are, what's the yell? What are you right, right. saying? I also think you're absolutely allowed to take off your shirt. In that Maybe. <laughs> that might be the case. Okay, so here's her message back to my Treasure Island, as Nathan put it. Hey, so on the way in, I said, I want to go on stage and meet him. I'm a nice, I'm a Jewish. That's like not nice how Jewish shows girl. work. It's just not how it goes. This is also how children talk. Yeah, right. the, host, on. the host made a queer joke. The host is queer. Uh, or is part of the LGBTQ community. And I said, oh, I'll go down. So she's... Why are you participating? And and then five minutes later, she was funny again. And I said, retweet what funny I Funny again? It. Because there's Fuck a lot off. of people in communities who think anytime there's a joke at all mentioning a community, it is a bad, unfunny joke. So now because she's not talking about that, she's funny again. The issue wasn't them asking me to put the sign down. It was their inconsistency and rude remarks. It was uh, first the waitress said it was okay. Then I asked... But you have to understand, like, yeah, we don't usually do this 
This isn't part of a comedy show. Then when I replied to the host, the manager, not the owner, said not to speak out. So I didn't again. I asked the manager if I could bring the sign out. And he said he'd ask. I didn't know he wasn't asking the owner. The owner said yes, but put it down quickly after, which I did. <laughs> but the manager ran over and yelled at me. Okay, this is all hey, yeah, yeah. regardless. Wait, 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 wait. Go to the next one. Wait yeah, a second. Is, we're oh. getting bogged down in details. I right. like the details. There, there's, I said, there's si- and then I give my three sides to every storyline, which I really like. I go, there's three sides to every story. Hey, buddy, you're yours, back again. Yes, this is yeah. great, man. Yours, theirs. And I'm being respectful. I, I don't think I'm being mean. Jared, yours, personally. theirs, and the truth that's somewhere in the middle. I'm sorry you didn't enjoy your experience. I had heard from multiple people at the club that it wasn't as <laughs> don't innocent. Read ahead. Don't read ahead. It wasn't as innocent as I want to go on stage and meet him. <laughs> and nobody wants to be yelled at on stage. We deal with it and smile <laughs> through it because it's a better look for the show. But again, I'm sorry your experience wasn't better. Yeah, that's so, not very kind for what is actually happening. So then this is her response. This is that. crazy. <laughs> so she's now, she, I reference that you were, to go back up, I reference. Um, I'm. Uh, I had heard from multiple people in the club that it wasn't as innocent as I want to go on stage. That's me being like, I heard you were looking to flash people. Yeah. Is what the yes, plan yes, yes. And then she writes back, not sure what else I would have done on stage. No, I'm not going down that road. When I asked to hold the sign up, I was told there was a meet and greet, and figured we'd just meet you there. What? Where? The, a- what? After the show? Yeah, not in the middle. In the middle, you think I go on stage and then I start and doing like, the meet pictures and, now. We'll do the comedy later. And also, also my no, siblings no, are both comedians, no. and I've met their group no. and they enjoy it. No, but to each their own. No. Happy New Year. No, no. This is kind of the part where we go from this specific. Yeah, we got thumbs down all around. This is a thumbs down. <laughs> uh, get out of here! Is that what that basically yeah. means? Both of my siblings are comedians, terrible and, comedians. And I said to them, can I bring a sign and show my tits? And they were cool with it. <laughs> like, what the hell? Well, this is what people do. And again, to like expand this out to the greater world, to the comments you see on Instagram, to the people that are angry online, they bring up this like faux, this faux, um, I'm an expert. Yes. Yes. Oh and God. as a mother. You don't get to as question a fa- my experience. Right. And, and what go, I know. And you go, I wanted to write Comic back. Comic I found two days ago. Exactly. And I wanted to write back to this person. <laughs> Give me your sibling's name. Like, I was going to come back to <laughs> yeah. Mr. Nice Guy and go, let me have your sing- sibling's handles. Yeah. And I'll ask them what they think of this whole scenario. Well, that's not that's and, not being no. That, now you're going now you're going full tilt crazy. Well, now, now you're lost now my you're, mind. Yeah, exactly. Right. Now this you're is, jumping this into is the world of insanity. The next Thursday, you're still just hunched over the phone texting. Well, some would say they bring you up to their podcast show. Two weeks later is a little crazy. You show up to their show with a sign. <laughs> I'm a nice Jewish comedian. You take your dick out. <laughs> your sister said it was okay. Yeah. Here's the thing. We all go to the show. Right. But this is a great point you bring up. Is what's the the deline- we have allowed crazy people yes. to run them up and have their opinion solidified because if we go the next level and ask them, like, let's play this out, we are now living in crazy time. Yes. If you, this is just me, what, what, okay. This is just me, 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 him. Okay. If you, this is just my own personal deal. If you're not eight or a stripper, you have to take the emojis out of your name. That's me personally. <laughs> okay. That, yeah. That's it. But this lady right. clearly wants to be. So what else would I do on a stage but show my clit? It's how, <laughs> how, how else? What else do you even do up there? She thought you were going to show your taint. She thought you were going to come out. The show's called Clitties and Taints. Hour, hour and a half of your <laughs> straight <laughs> asshole while people have beverages and then right. you walk out. Let's go to some ads. Uh, we're done. That was the best. This is the best thing I've ever seen. I uh, listen to. What a podcast I'm putting this is, together yeah, here. That's the best thing I've ever seen. This is Paradigm probably a shift. Par- <laughs> Dude, look, I didn't even know who you were, okay? I found tickets in the street. <laughs> All and I, I wanted to do was flash the audience of a comedian yeah. I've never heard of. I bought tickets after looking at a video, and now, like, you don't want to fuck me? I it's do insane. this at my writing. sibling shows. Why wouldn't I do this at your yeah. show? We've all been there trying to fit everything we think we might need for a trip, only to end up with a suitcase bursting at the seams. With base, there's room for everything. 15 pairs of underwear for a weekend trip, no problem. Deciding between a few pairs of shoes, bring them all with base. Base luggage is truly the best with 360 degree gliding wheels, a cushion handle, a built in weight indicator, and washable bags for your dirty clothes. Base has you covered. You got a problem with this? Dude, that's insane. What are you doing on the weekend? You're going through 15 pairs of fucking Listen, underwear. That's a little insane. diary in the shoe. I don't know what's going 15 on. 15 times? I mean, that's insane. Stay I, home, pal. I have base. 
It's awesome. I, I bring it out. You bring your air fryer. Your I bring microwave. Air fryer, <laughs> microwave, all my kitchen utensils. Three Falcons. Three Falcons. I it's, I gotta say the cushion 15 handle. 15 pairs of underwear. Didn't think I would need a cushion handle. Need it, love it, want I it. believe that. I love base. I bring it everywhere on the road. It fits in everything. Um, every piece is made to look better with miles, so you don't have to worry about it uh, in cargo or overhead. It's great. I love base stuff. It's really well made. And it does fit more than I am used to. It, it mm. has the straps that push everything down. Mm, it's got like a that. lot of pockets. I bring golf stuff on the road, even if I'm not sure I'm golfing. So I'm bringing extra stuff just by virtue of how good the bag is. Right now, Base is offering JTrain listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash JTrain. Go to basetravel.com slash JTrain for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S travel.com slash JTrain. UFC 297 is bringing a stacked fight card to Toronto and throwing down on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC, will take your excitement level north of the border. New customers can bet five bucks and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app with code JTRAIN. New customers bet just five bucks on UFC 297 and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code JTRAIN. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY. Or text HOPE and Y467369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888 789 7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. 19 there. Bonus bets expire. 168 hours after issuance, cdkng.com slash MMA for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. We are sponsor people, MeUndies. Give your partner a late holiday gift this year. Replace your old underwear, or even better, replace all your underwear with MeUndies. Their Move Me collection is soft and moisture wicking, ready to support you on the couch or wherever your undies take you. With sizes from extra small to 4XL, MeUndies will cradle your buns comfortably and their signature fabric is as soft and warm as your favorite sweater. I love MeUndies because right now you're dealing with a underwear that you don't like. It's not the first one you pick out. It's when all the underwear is in the wash and you're like, okay, I'll wear that last one. Here's your permission to throw away that last pair of underwear and replace it with MeUndies because it's great. And they got patterns and stuff, but if you're not a patterns person, MeUndies has the classic colors and styles anyone will love, all with their signature breathable fabric. Kick off the new year comfier than ever and get 20% off your first order plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash JTrain. That's MeUndies.com slash JTrain for 20% off plus free shipping. MeUndies, comfort from the outside in. Allison, Nathan, and I are joined by a very special guest. Uh, the 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 creator and operator of the Instagram account called Passenger Shaming, SK. Thank you for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Oh. How, you're you're a former <laughs> flight attendant who went into yeah. the shaming business, which we were talking before you came yes. on. Allison and Nathan were like, we are so appreciative of shame. Thank you. <laughs> we need it. obviously yes we need more shaming but like shaming in the way you know it's it's hard because the internet there's no there's a thin line between we're letting you know you done fucked up and then let me ruin your life like no you know like i'm okay like there's retribution we can come back from it like my thought on the airport is that there should be a penalty box where if you do something wrong we put you in the box it's a 30 second or a minute penalty because time is of essence at the airport. So everyone's in a rush. So this will hamper you, but it will make you feel it. So, hey, you took too long to do your ticket because the light on the phone was too dim. Get in the box, 30 seconds. And then <laughs> above it, it'll say, you're a fucking idiot. And we can all look at you as we walk by. But then <laughs> we so were, yeah. Yeah, box, and you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, 
one and of those spotlight things. And, right. and then we, and then they have a little lights, you know, little, 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 yeah, little, yeah, you're an animal in the zoo. And then we let you out and you're back in the gen pop. So SK, how do you delineate between what to post, what to not post, what got you into this? You're a former flight attendant, which I think is the perfect person to be the, the, the you know, the, the strip affair dictator. Talk to us. No, I hear you. So obviously, like I said, I was a flight attendant, but it was only for about eight years. I didn't retire from it. Listen, how I made it eight years is fucking beyond me, to be honest. I have no idea how that happened. I don't know how you did either. I just, I mean, you deal with the height of stupidity. I, I'm on the flight alone. So, right. and I fly a lot. So I get to watch. I'm an observer of what you deal with. Right. No, you see it. Like, that's why I get along with comedians so well. Like, they get it. Like, they, it's like, that's why we're simpatico it's a th like because it's not like you fly as much but like pretty much you know what i'm saying like but except i'm doing maybe four to six a day right you get it like you're doing it every weekend so um one thing i would say first of all i love the penalty box idea and i would love to implement that immediately a as well as like as a portion of that would be obviously the no-fly list like add that shit to it like of course. for sure that, depending listen, that's like, a we bigger have, box like, little levels yeah yeah a bigger box <laughs> hopefully it's huge let's be honest but like you said people walk in the airport and they just lose con I, I don't even know like we you know like they have like little silly dad jokes or sayings or whatever as flight attendants but i will say like one of the things was hey as soon as people walk in the airport like they lose all sense of like common sense and honestly decency there's no respect there's no way, like people do treat you awful. Well, SK, I, just to say, it must be so awful to be a grown adult person being told off by somebody wearing pajamas and Crocs. Yes, <laughs> carrying a bed pillow from home. Like disgusting <laughs> fucking human beings telling <laughs> you off. That's horrifying. It's fucking disturbing. I'm like staring at like this little embroidered Winnie the Pooh bullshit on your shit thing. And they're like, I fly more than you and da da da. No, <laughs> what? no you don't, what? Yeah. And you're right, they're wearing pajamas. I can't, I can't Disgusting. do it. Disgusting. That's why I don't do it anymore. SK. But as you mentioned, Jared, I, yes, obviously doing this as, you know, as a, as a job is why it's how it started. I started out as a blog and I was just like, you know, just writing. I didn't even know what the fuck a blog was, but I was just like journaling essentially. And my colleagues were like, this is funny. Like I would just make it with a little comedic tone, but 100% true. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, you should start a blog. And then it was just me ranting about idiots on airplanes essentially. Right. And then it turned into passenger shaming. I said, let me just do a, you know, a little, like sister site or whatever, a knockoff of it, like where it's just the photos and the videos. And cause so that really hit <laughs> because then you're like seeing it. Cause I feel like people thought I was making that shit up before. Right. You write about something. It is uh, you know, a it, story. it's a, right. It's a story as opposed to there's the video. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the toes of a human in another person's <laughs> hair. So I, SK, I, so you're our expert. You're our, flight um you're like our what is what is you're our flight manners expert mm -hmm. uh, you're our etiquette our etiquette etiquette lit yes the lit. yes we're gonna bring you in for flight etiquette lessons from time to time i would love to do that and show you things that we've seen but i do think that i would love to hear what your underrated shameful things are like the things people might not because some again we all deserve retribution what are the things that I might be doing that's a little shameful? Like, what are the things that, like, totally. you're right? Because I know the big things. You right. know, like, you see someone take the a shoe. shit in the aisle, you know, or the shoes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really went from, like, zero to 100. Right, like, right, right. right. There, there's an obvious one, but really aggressive but there is there are photos of people literally taking shits in the aisle of a plane no or a potty it's on the instagram account anyway uh so, but i hear what you're saying so i do appreciate the underrated thing because people as you said they're doing stuff that they think is cool including like this is just like a super minor thing i'm just this is going to be just a, a little quick note like women who paint their nails on planes <gasps> let's just not do no. it like you're in an enclosed aircraft spraying perfume painting nails like it's you know the the the, the aroma SK. the odor that like you know it's circulate. Are you doing I, it, uh, Allison? Are you guilty of this? It's okay. Never. I would ne never paint my nails anywhere except for my home or getting a manicure. That is 
Painting nails. I don't like the smell no, when I'm doing smell, it. That's a smell, man. It's a, I, I think smell things in Anything general. With a smell, but I, yeah, wow, I, that's wild. If I was to be harder on people, I think any food that would stick against the wall shouldn't be allowed on the plane. Sure. Like uh, you know, but eggs, eggs yeah, eggs, no, underratedly hard-boiled smelly. Eggs. See, hard-boiled eggs. Here's the thing. I I would come back at you as a hard-boiled I egg a hard-boiled eater egg. Yeah. at the airport. They sell them in the stores. At the airport, yeah, yes, on the it, plane. Exactly, though, you gotta eat it before you get on the plane. Before you go on. Yeah. Okay, I'm willing. I, I can change. Because I'm a hard boiled egg gal, too. Like, yeah, yeah. we all need a lean protein. I, I like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what like, is. I'm not gonna do it like sitting next to somebody. Like, I have pictures on the Instagram, like, where people are literally holding like a Ziploc baggie of like 17 eggs and they're just sitting there <laughs> fucking eating. Like, oh, come on. Lou Ferrigno getting ready for the big weight <laughs> lifting oh, competition. God. Yeah. So what are some others? Okay, well, first, I do want to preface this, but I was going to say, I was going to preface this by like, hey, we only shame, I say we, it's me, only shame, you know, behaviors, right? Like, not somebody, like, weight, appearance, anything of that nature, but, you know, people who follow, they get it, but also, I kind, you know, and like, hey, I'm not a complete raging asshole, but I also, as a listener... And who knows your vibe? I feel like I'm in a safe space. You are in the safest <laughs> you know? of spaces. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. We we love a good complaint. Yeah. We I, and I agree with you. This is the thin line. And I get I get comments on my stuff where you can see someone like trying to play along, and you're like, no, 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 no that's mean. It. That's a different tone. Yeah. You know, shaming behavior. I like the way you put it. Shaming yeah. behaviors. That's what we're talking about here. Not. Look at this fucking loser. You know, behavior, it's not your PJs and what they look like. It's the fact that you put on PJs to begin with and then you went on yes. a flight. Like, the, the, these are two different things. But, but you got in a car. Like, you took an yeah, Uber yeah, in pajamas. Yeah, right, yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? And yeah, you went through yeah. TSA. Like, right, what? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Whatever. so but, what are uh, the behaviors okay, so, that you believe are the I, most Here's shame? a good one. This is one that, that I... I this is to me is like one of the biggest fuck yous, like to er- to everybody, right? Not just the crew, because sure, I was a flight attendant, but this is for everybody. Gen pop, whatever. Yeah, it's not you. Is is using the overhead bin for shit that's not your luggage, okay? And I do have. Let me. I do. I will have like some backup to it, okay? So it's okay. not just that cut and dry. Um, but you know. And when I say guy, the guy or girl, whoever that comes on and they're like, oh, let me just throw my jacket in here. And, you know, like it's a full flight. Everybody's got their roller boards or doing their thing, whatever. And then somebody's like, oh, let me put this in. I, You know, like my hat or like my, you know. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> a hat. A hat is a real. Funny. I saw a guy in an aisle folding like a Metallica hoodie like it was the Torah. <laughs> and you go, pal. Jam that under your seat, you fucking door. Right. Put it on. See, okay, so SK, because I, listen, I like this one because I have some guilt to admit to. Oh, wow. What have you put I, up there? I, oh, wow. I go on the flight. It's with manscaping. Ba- <laughs> base <laughs> luggage. And then I have a backpack. I put the base luggage up. I put the backpack right next to it, book style on it, right next to it. I believe to me, I'm like, that's my stuff. I'm in there. I'm up there. I understand they say backpacks under the seats. I I think if you can get it up there, let's get it out of the way. Are you in first class? Not all the time. I mean, because there's a, there is a difference. I mean, I mean okay. that, that sucks, but there is because there's you know there is there are areas Space. that are designated for that. Now, okay, everybody's gonna hate to fucking hear this, but it's okay, you're when our you expert. purchase a ticket. It does not entitle you to any overhead bin space. You're buying a ticket for a seat that gets you from A to B. If there's open spa- spots, hell yeah, score, we're all good, right? So it's not only that, hey, I'm walking back to row 20, you know, 22, and let me just go ahead and put my try to try to put my fucking bag up on the first, you know, like in first class, right? No, um, you know, but taking it back. And then getting annoyed because you got to put, you know, your bag is, you know, maybe a row or two behind you. Right. We all do, right? It happens. But so it's not just that you're you're not entitled. I, I hate to tell you, it's you're not even entitled to that overhead bin space. That's just that's just a bonus. Right. For that. So I once boarded a flight with nothing. 
I was it just- It feels go, crazy to do that. It feels crazy, <laughs> but also weirdly it. freeing. Of course. You're relaxed. Do you think if we took away the overhead space and we just said, Check it all out. goes under, okay. everybody, everybody under, we're gonna put in the overhead space, we're gonna put beds, we're gonna sell them. You can get a canopy <laughs> suite for this flight to Colorado. Do you think it would change how people acted? We would be less yeah. everyone for themselves. Everyone, it would be less Thunderdome. Yep, absolutely. Because this bleeds into another one, and I'm not even finished with this, but it makes Please. me think of what I call gate lice. The people that are hanging out at the gate and they're just like at the ready and they're like, you know, you're in zone 74 and they're boarding. I'm sorry, the airplane hasn't even landed and pulled up to the gate yet. Right. And, you know, so the people who are coming off the plane can't even get off the plane because everybody's like, you know, in a big huddle anyway. But so well, sometimes makes- I get mad at the sometimes I get mad at the gate agent because I love a strict gate agent. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah and, yeah, yeah. and so when I'm at the, when I hear a gate agent get on and go, if you're zone three, yeah. sit down, I go, I want you to be yes. family. Like, yes. I want you, yes. like, I want you in my you life run for the everything. Airport now. <laughs> right. I want you in government. Yes. I want you in charge of everything. When I see someone and I get mad, I see the gate agent go, uh, when they're weak, I, I really get upset with them and not the lice. Do you know what I mean? Rightfully so. And they sh- they're not doing their job properly. That's just my opinion. But as far as the, like the, the, the one um, uh, is with the overhead bin, mm. like if you just went through duty free and you've got your little plastic bag with your cologne or whatever the hell you fucking bought there. Like, no, that's not for, for that. Right. This is for the luggage. Sorry. Yeah. I, and I love you, Jared, but like, Depending on where you're sitting, you know, and depending on I can how, take it. you know, how how full the, the aircraft is. But so backpack I would also say, under the seat. Sorry? Backpack under the seat. Yeah. If you have, right, two, like, so if you up. say, I only had a backpack, put it up there. That's fine. You know what I mean? If right. that's your yeah. only bag, that's okay. But if I you have get two. You. Yeah. That, and here's the thing about how we <laughs> act at the airport. And this tells you everything. I'm having a very calm conversation with you right now. There is no way on earth that I'm going to change my actions. I am going to be a monster. Well, no matter what, because I I want. But I I agree with you. I can't believe this. This is insane. uh, This this person literally just said to put it under the scene. You go. I don't care. I I no. Fucking get your own penalty box, pal. You are the problem. I would take the thirty to have the backpack above my head. If you take the thirty, you lose the spot for both bags. I, what do you think I'm entitled to as a Delta Diamond Medallion member? Should, if I board first, you get to fly the plane, get, Jared. You get to get, you get to, you get to be the pilot for the day. <laughs> SK, what do you think? What, what do you, SK? What do you think we're too hard on? What do you mean? Sorry, I couldn't. Is there hear anything it. that's like in the, the the conversation of shaming with travel that someone? It, you know, because sometimes things become punchlines and they just become acceptable. And you go, yeah, yeah. that's not that bad. Like, is there anything that you yeah. see people make fun of? Like, something we call it like Mad Libs. Like, mm. oh, I'm just going to like say this thing that's been said a hundred times and now I get to be funny. We all now, have a reference because we, we've all seen it enough or heard about it enough. Right, it's almost hacky at this point. Is there something that people, you see people get mad at on flights that you're like, you shouldn't be that mad? I do. I I will say that I get submissions a lot, which so at some point I literally wrote, you know, through Instagram when people like hit me up like or, you know, the account up to to send something. I'm like, it has to be a really egregious because people it'll be like a little foot, like a little eat, like something like just so basic and like little elbow. Oh, my God, I got one. And I'm like, no, it's okay. Like, let people live. I can promise you that flight attendants do want you to be happy and comfortable and they're it's not this is one thing i like to just put out there i promise there's nothing in any flight attendant's body that wants to sit or or, i'm sorry be working on an aircraft for two or three hours with 200 people that are pissed off right Right. like i mean we want you to be happy and sometimes you know what flight attendants and the crews aren't given the proper tools to do that like we don't have pillows they don't pillows anymore blankets or you know whatever like you can't get all the shit that you really want and but then you get the passenger who's like 
I'm sorry, excuse me. And you're literally like running down the aisle with like an E, you know, an AED, like getting ready to, you know, doing CPR on somebody. They're like, can I get a soda? You know, or whatever. <laughs> and it's like, no. Right. Like, can you see the dead guy up there? Like, we're kind of busy right now. But yeah, so there there absolutely are just like a little super tiny minor infractions like you said hacky stuff well, 100 that's the thing like i i you know when you see people at the airport angry mm -hmm. and you go mm -hmm. what did you expect to happen here right. <laughs> did you think you were just gonna glide on through this and when you say people lose their sensibility at the airport i think it's because most people are used to their routine mm -hmm. an airport is a variable yeah. You are doing something different that you didn't do yesterday and you didn't do it the day before. You say comics, we fly more than most, so it's less of a variable. So we are used to and aware that negativity may come our way. Someone might not be uh, fully equipped to do these things. And I listen, SK, you're doing a favor to the world because we need to see these things. These people need to be shamed uh, appropriately. Thank you. Thank you for coming on, SK. This was fantastic. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. If everybody could just like maybe keep their socks and shoes on and like feet like not on surfaces that they don't own. I mean, it's like an $85 million plane. Like I don't get like the sense of entitlement. You know, it's like all of that shit. Right. So just well, everyone, really easy to fly. It's everyone really thinks hard. they're a good flyer. That's the yeah. problem. Everyone thinks you, it's you someone else. You thought you were. Yeah. I know two I am. Seconds ago. <laughs> two seconds ago, you're trying to bring it on hard boiled, a black pack full of hard boiled full eggs. Yeah, they got them overhead. <laughs> SK, thank you so much. Everyone go follow yeah. Passenger Shaming on Instagram if you don't already. Fantastic account to follow, enjoy, laugh at the crazy things in the world. SK, thank you. This is amazing. You're yes, our first guest on the new J Train podcast, our first expert. We're going to call on you with more. Thank you. I love it. Okay, this is a new segment. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love this segment, uh, even though we've never done it before. We're going to see how much I love it. Uh, <laughs> I like it. That's great. Well, I, I just sometimes I go on TikTok and then you're scrolling and you're like, I'm feeling something. Mm -hmm. I, it's not anger. It's not hate. It's just like uh, sometimes it's one of this person doing. Mm -hmm. What was the thought process? Mm -hmm. What is it? So I wanted to bring these TikToks up to see how they made us feel. As a group. Oh, I like that. You know, what is your initial feeling from the TikTok? It's so... I love this one. Let's go to Do I Look 36. And as a 38-year-old man, I'm like in. You know, like, you know, if someone asks, do I look an age online? Yes. Aren't you in? I'm in. I'm in. As a woman who just turned 40. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. I have a lot of opinions on this. Okay, so let's watch this TikTok. Somebody recently told me that they thought I was 36 years old. And... I'm not, just to be clear. <laughs> not even, not close. How old is she? Close ish. Say 21. I'm not 36. Do I look 36? I mean, I definitely have great hair. But How like, old is this fucking lady? Shouldn't say it all. She'd be 21 or 62. Exactly. Like, I just, like, really look at my Well, face. here's the thing that's right without the Do glasses. I look 36 years old? It's not I don't know. your face, I I lady. Could. I don't know. I've seen 36 year olds that look younger than me, but she seems tired. This is, yes. Like, You're wearing a hoodie that's 47 sizes too fucking big. Right. Look, like, well, that's the, that's the thing is like, it's immediately offensive based off of her being so disappointed by, and I saw this and I go, you, it, it is weird that like, sometimes it's like, this was a friend conversation, not a yes. anyone in the Pretty universe. Enough to see conversation. If someone came out to me and was like, you look 52, I would again go, do I look 52? I would have the same questions right. as her. But I okay. wouldn't put it on the internet. I think putting it on the internet is like, you're just asking. Like, look yeah. at these comments. The comments are crazy. Yes, do you use Don't retinol? Ask Don't ask TikTok. Uh, you do, but you that's, that's okay. okay. It's like, like, I yeah, I guess like, it's also annoying. It's like, there's nothing wrong with like, being old, like we are so ageist in like our culture and i don't mean like age, like but like right we are so we are taught to be terrified of getting older our whole lives so somebody saying you look a little older whether that's true or not feels terrifying when it's like i it doesn't matter we're also i agree with you and it doesn't matter and it, you know what we're weird about 
the idea everything. of uh, everything, <laughs> but the idea of beauty. Yeah, there are. And, and I do agree. It's hard to decide, you know, to talk about beauty because you go, there are people that are factually hot. Yes. And like that no one could disagree with their their hotness. And then everyone else, you know, yes. like and then you go, yes. everyone else. There's like is beautiful to someone. people right. and then a bunch of people. When I like, when you see, like, what, what, you just saw the movie, um, the wrestling movie. Oh, Iron Claw. When you see Iron Claw, and you see Zach Efron. Sure. When you see Zach Efron, you go, "That's a beautiful person." Yeah. Like, nothing you can do, nothing you can. That's change. just a movie star. By like, it is just a different. Most people don't look like that. It, exactly. Even if like whatever you think of his like muscles or what his face is doing like it's still just like that's how he looks and that's different and 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 then you go everyone else and so this idea of like looking 36 being negative is an idea of like what is who's in the beautiful club and who's not in the beautiful club and you go no you're just you're one of the group right i i just there are hot 36 year olds if I went on the internet, Allegedly. I can't think of anything. <laughs> I can't think of anything I would want to do less than ask the internet anything about, about something me. I'm insecure about. <laughs> yeah, no, because like, she's obviously insecure. Right. Also, did somebody just run up to her and be like, "You look like a 36 year old woman," or was somebody like, "Oh, I thought you were 36"? Like, was the context that like you are friends with someone who's 36 and you were with them? Like, what? Like, How I did don't. This like, what is the value judgment here that you think is being made? Because it probably isn't. Mm. Nathan, you have any thoughts? What I does mean, this make you feel? It just makes you feel. There's a lot of reasons I stay off TikTok, and this is uh, mm. this is what this angers you. It doesn't anger me. It's just sort of like, like this face right well, here. Well, I'll tell you I this: mean, the face she's making right now, where she's like, "36." Can I get serious with you? Can I get serious with yeah. you? This might blue Monday us a little bit. It makes uh -oh. me feel sad because mm -hmm. this lady might not have anybody to ask, and mm -hmm. the internet is yes. where she is asking. That's why I think she might be like 19, 20, 21. Right. And she's like, do I actually look 36? And she can't go to like there are mom and dad are dead. Yeah. Right. Dead. Right. I'm sorry, you made it no, sad. But, I went but sad. No, but I'm saying like she, there, there are a lot of people out there that don't necessarily have people to ask these questions. And right. they go to TikTok. Well, if you, and if you think of the Late internet 20s. and who- Late 20s, okay. Well, oh yeah, that's different. The, the, but still she might Mom not. of boys, you don't look 36, you look like you have kids. Yeah, right. you totally look like a small town mother for sure. Those are the right. differences. Well, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That, you, the, well, 100%. it is an interesting thing. The, the internet was created by people that were kind of lonely, looking yeah. for other people to speak well, to. That's not 100% true, but I get you. Well, you know what I mean? Funny. Well, the-, the the guy that made it still alive. I don't. He. he I don't think he did it because he was the, like the guy who they invented the internet. I, I would think that it's a internet like nerdy. He wanted to get information out there more to people, but this is some of the information he wanted to get. Is this lady thirty six? <laughs> right. Because before he has to go, he had to go door to door yeah, and ask everybody just, their age. Yeah, right. So I guess the you know become but, a census worker. But, but I she's guess a mother of people, like a people couple are, of people, and she lives in a, a, a smaller place. Yeah, man. You look like a mother, which right. is fine. That's, which, do that's what, you what moms look like. And also, I'm thinking this is the other part that makes that's me even mean. more mean. If you went up to someone and go, "You look like a mom," yeah, instead again, of like, "You look 36," is, that... is more the go. Why is that bad? I right. think 36 is somebody. Maybe she was on like a, I don't know, some kind of like yeah. thing, and the guy was like, "You look," you know what I mean? Mm. It wasn't said in a good way, but still, it right. could just be what he was trying to say is, "You look bad," but he didn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> Or they I didn't like that say you assumed that. it was a man. Just I did, I did. <laughs> I mean, and it doesn't have yeah. to be. Could have been one of her fucking kids. Yeah, right. Know, right. Well. All right, let's go to this next I one. I felt sad watching that video. That's what I'll say. How did it right. make you feel? Sad. Depressed. Are you ready to be cheered up? Yeah. Because this video is a great video. I mean, we just got done talking to Passenger Shaming, and we probably should have asked her about yeah. this video. Um, this has made the rounds. I got tagged mm -hmm. in it a bunch. These are two, uh, it seems like a, a couple, two men, they're together and they're flying and they got mad at, one of them gets very angry at the gate person. Now let's play the clip. Hello, everybody. Just American Airlines. Fuck this over. Sorry. 
Here we go. Dustin, here I'm not kidding. Don't. You don't care about girls, so I want to tell you about Shelby and Dolly. Shelby and Dolly. Shelby and Dolly. We're going to do it. I'm going to do it for you. Shelby and Dolly. Shelby and Dolly. What did you say? Shelby and Dolly. Oh, yeah, so... He's saying, think of the girls, and it's their two dogs. They're poodles, poodles. is what's come out later. No, keep going. Hold on. There's a, a grand finale. I'm just trying to get home to girls. I love the person watching it laugh. Fuck off, bitch. Fuck off, bitch. Fuck off, bitch. <laughs> He's saying, fuck off, bitch. Yeah. To a woman in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> he looks her right in the eye and goes, fuck off, bitch, and then double downs. Fuck off, bitch. The woman in the wheelchair. What do you think of those? Uh, I mean, what I like about that video is it shows really the fear of the boyfriend with the raging boyfriend mm. of like, you will never fly again. He's trying Not to reason together. with someone that's got nothing going on behind their eyes. They're yeah. enraged. He's going, think of the girls. You know, he knows one person is knowing that the rest of their lives will be ruined. They'll be on the no-fly list. They won't be on the no-fly list. They'll fly. You think they'll fly again? 100%. That guy. He 100%. told a woman in a wheelchair to go fuck off, bitch. I don't know. 100%. There's worse people on flights. Right. <laughs> like, like, I don't know why that's the line at this point. All right. Have you ever been with someone who got so angry that yes. you couldn't calm them down? Really? Traveling, yeah. Died. Comedian years ago, uh, he snapped. He's just losing it on a, a Greyhound bus. This is years wow. and years ago. He took a... Yeah, but he, everybody's... Here's the thing. Rightfully so. And he got to cafeteria with a pen on a Greyhound bus. Like, I'm not... Really? It wasn't a pen. I mean, that was in ago. Canada. It wasn't a pen. <laughs> that was in Canada. What, 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 it, it was what in was Canada. It? Man, a guy was fucking traveling across the country. A man snapped. He was, like, psychotic. Legitimately, he yeah. thought the guy was an alien. He cut his head off, started he eating it. it. That's dead serious. I have to say... That that's a real that's taking a bus, a bus across Canada. It talk, it happened, to me, like, I want to take a bus across town. Right. <laughs> We're now moving. This this happened. Taking a bus across Canada brings me to the saddest place. Yeah, like the heavy. the thought of it, like boarding a Greyhound in Vancouver Just, that says Montreal across no. the top. There's much Nova more Scotia. Past that. Thank you. Thank Nova you for Scotia. adding Sorry. in my province. I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. There's uh there's there's Nova Scotia that happened in, all aboard and then they someone don't do that. that's a getting train on with their that's right train rucksack. I don't care. With their, that's, with so their... it, did that happen in 08? Real thing. Yeah. It, it, okay. So this, this is, yeah, but either way. So, but can I say, well, whatever. My this is story, a very special sad Monday episode. My, my, story is, Monday. Yeah, my story is fully dead. I'm going to keep this uh, sad again. This is a full breakdown in society, and I hate videos like this. The man, it's drunk, mm. drunk, screaming about his dogs. Very sad. The person recording it, giggling. Very sad as well. It's awful. Really? That I hate it. I Aren't hate you it. happy we saw it no, right now? It didn't make... I'm not happier. I'm actually more <laughs> depressed. It's both sides of society there are broken and wrong in my right. head. Yeah. The guy that's drunk yeah. and person recording it, it's like, man, look, you have also had bad days. Is this person snapping? Yes, but they're drunk, buddy. You know what's existentially in? big it's picture? Just like, it's depressing. I hate right. when people this record video fights. is funny I, to watch. I right. don't think so. Personally, I don't think it's funny. Right. Do we need but this video me. in society? It's like, you know, you know, we do. We don't need we go, this video. We go do stand up. Someone takes their phone out and starts taping us. We do say to them, what are you going to do with this? Right. We do say, like, what's what's the what's right. the this vision here? This person here is getting a billion views. And they might get sponsored. They might sell out Madison Square Garden based on this. <laughs> Seriously. But the guy that's drunk gets dick. He's drunk. Now, look, is what he's doing right? 100% right. not. 100% right. not. Mm. But also, what the fuck like, are why we do we, doing? Why not enjoy? Go tell your story. You know, I saw a guy yell, fuck off, bitch, yeah. at a woman yes. in a wheelchair. Yeah. That's fun. That's dinner conversation. It doesn't yeah. have to really go beyond that if you think about it. My So back to this real quick. I apologize. My yeah. friend, we were traveling across, uh, doing a bunch of shows out west in Canada. And uh, I he goes, we're taking a Greyhound. It says we're going to get here at this time. I go, well, buddy, go with two hours after that, maybe. It could be that. And he goes, don't, don't jinx us. I go, it's Greyhound, man. Anyways, between Calgary and Edmonton, something like that, the bus breaks down. He looks right at me. He goes, this is your fault. I go, are you, you to wish your... this to happen? I go, are you to your mind? We had to wait there for two hours. We barely made the show. And he talks to me afterwards. He goes, why don't you care about this? Why weren't you upset? What's your... And I go, you want to get mad at traveling? Lots of things yeah, happen, dude. It is right. a variable. Yeah, dude. I can't. I go to the. We were talking about earlier. 
My flight's at 10. You get there, it's at 11. Yeah, it is. I can't get upset about this. You have to kind of make, you have to be bagging the wind. You yes. have yeah, to yeah, be yeah, when yeah, traveling, yeah. especially on a Greyhound. Yeah, right. that's Where, like not even travel. Yeah, it's man. The one, you know what, for us though, you know what's that interesting? That depressed me. Both these views made me so sad. I hope I don't. Oh, I'm okay, sad. Okay, that's I'm how sorry. you feel. Sadness, fault. happiness. Uh, both of them just hey, depressed me so much. Okay, so hold on. We'll get you back. I, uh, I do wonder, we are all kidless comedians travel. Mm -hmm. I hope, I my hope, I can't say that I will, my hope that is if I have a family and I travel with them, I am so in a, don't give a shitsville. You have to. Yeah, I man. hope I continue this. Yeah. Well, that's weird. Oh, yeah. Brian, baby. That's annoying. I guess that's let's, annoying. Let's, let's, let's back up the dinner reservation a bit because we're coming I've, in later. Right, I've I hope with I've a learned dog. enough yes. from traveling. I've yes. traveled with a dog. I've gone to the airport with There's a dog. There's a parent right now so angry. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm, no, I'm talking <laughs> I'm not about right. this person's freaking out about their dog. Yeah, I'm not comparing not. it at all. Sure. I'm just saying I've gone to an airport with a dog. I got to take her out of a bag. People got to go through her papers. It's a whole mm. other deal. You land and they take you to a, another whole screening process. It's a different thing. I've done it. I'm not going to fucking snap at anybody. But again, I don't go there drunk. Now, again, I don't know those two people's lives. They could have been in a full fight that day. They're just on the brink of breaking up. Yeah. They go, you know what? Let's go to Dania Beach and hold up a sign at Jared Fried's fucking show. <laughs> you know what? This lady's like, you can't bring it's... your goddamn poodles on board. This guy's drunk on his mind. That video well, makes he, me I think he so... was yelling at him. He Sad. was yelling at him to think of the dogs yeah, that they're going so home to. Yeah. But I will say, it's funny that like people, different drunks. I'm so happy I'm eat and pass out drunk yeah. as opposed to like raging yeah, drunk. aggressive. Right, that's a different drunk. That's, that's a, different I, drunk. I, you know, I've never been told that I've been like, I've, I, anytime I've been drunk, you were, you were yeah. fine. Yeah, do you know what you did yesterday? Kept talking right, about right. that mozzarella sticks. <laughs> you made it, yeah, that. American <laughs> Airlines put you on a list, man. <laughs> All right, let's go to another one. Um, how meet quality friends? How to meet quality friends? Um, oh, this annoyed me. Okay. I've been talking about the friend luck for years. Friend luck being? How to meet people. So basically, like, I get asked, like, I want a real in-person in event to meet, like, new men or women. I want to meet new people. And I don't want to ask my friends to be set up. So I said, hey, have a party. We invite your 10 best friends. Oh, friend luck, like potluck. Like a potluck. And every friend needs the only key to admission, bring one friend. So I would come to a party, bring Allison. Now that's my friend. And you might not meet the love of your life, but you might meet someone that becomes a new connection, a new fun friend, or that would introduce you. Now they have 200 friends. They go, oh, you're single. Yeah. I know this person that's right. looking to meet someone. So now I go on TikTok. All of my shit has been done on TikTok. Well, that's TikTok. Like, I think we all do shit and we all thought we were the only ones doing it. And then TikTok was like, actually, we're all doing it. Right. That's a that's a more, to me, I was hoping he stole it from me. Of course. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> the, Ready play to play this video. plagiarism. Right. I, I just like, but I think like this guy being good looking helps him. Well, that's what's annoying about it. Right. This good looking guy takes my thing and it's like, He's never yeah. had trouble finding friends. No, and it's like it's like if I hired an actor to play me that was better looking than me, so that people could like die, yeah. like uh, digest me. Like this is kind of how it feels. Good, like look at I this. I came across this concept last year. Well, this thing my came life. across. Where'd you find it? Well, yeah. Where's your how everything on TikTok is? Oh, I saw this tweet. I had someone do this to me earlier. Oh, I saw this tweet about how you know uh, about how Kelsey Travis Kelsey's the best boyfriend for uh, Taylor Swift. Because he's uh, because he he's a tight end, and it's like look up Dumois, and it's one of her highest watched videos. It's me saying this. It's like you didn't come across shit. Someone else said it. TikTok, in a lot of ways, is uh, the eighties, uh, especially with jokes. Mm. You know what I mean? I saw somebody post them. I might have seen this as like a YouTube short or whatever, but somebody was like, James Brown had his own language, and it's like, pal, I know you're twelve. We solved that 40 years ago. Right. But yeah. Because people on TikTok just got here. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. Right. They're like, it's oh, a, this yeah. joke that men and women are this. It's like, yeah. we did that. We've I'm done not it. kidding yeah. you. In 82, 84, right. 89. But the people I, that like Gen Z on TikTok, like they aren't, there is no cultural history that they participate zero, in yeah. in the way that we came up growing up being like, this is what old TV is. This right. is what, like, 
we knew and like they there's so much information that everything is just like what's happening now and like no concern for what happened before right and so they think they discovered everything we and this is i mean last episode we crushed sister snacking and it's like that's kind of part of it with sister snacking i did like, not i still want them to be that right well no, maybe they'll that's, that's a new sponsor part, you, you want to be their new cocky pepper <laughs> to butter <Cockio> <laughs> Cocktail pepper butter. to butter. Yeah, no, but I, I, there is no acknowledgement that like I, when watching these types of reviews on, yeah, I've seen just this an acknowledgement that like other things happened before you picked up your phone today. Right, it doesn't seem like that acknowledgement. And that's happens. like kind of like this. Yeah, press play on this. If you're interested in meeting new people and making new friends, try hosting a second degree dinner. Invite two to three friends from different friend groups and tell them to bring one quality friend. That no one I hate the word use of quality are, friend. I think that's a douchey thing. Invite, right. There's a great there's chance only someone like this would call it a quality friend. Right. This guy is you're trusting their culture. judgment of character and potentially getting new friends in the mix. Sometimes hosting can be daunting, so make it as easy on yourself as possible. If you like, don't who want is to cook this for person? everyone, make it a potluck. If you don't have the space in your apartment, host in a park. If you don't know what to talk about, include conversation starters on plates. Optimize for simplicity. If I show up at a dinner party generally just looking to meet and there's icebreakers on the plate, I'm turning around and putting my coat on and leaving. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm like, oh, I'm a loser. Oh, oh I, I need an icebreakers. Work. Yeah. No. No. Let's do one more before we move on. Yeah. So they gave their tias thongs for Christmas. Is tias, what is that? Aunt, Aunt in Aunt. Spanish. Um, what I love about this, I referenced this on You Up, where gifting someone thongs. I think this is great. This is fun. I think this is great. There was another video someone tagged me in where they gave their grandma a thong, and then they said it was from their dad. So they videotaped grandma opening up the thong while dad was in the room, and her being like, why would my son give me a thong? I love this. I think gag gifts are the best. I like the reaction to it. I like the idea of we're empowering these tias. To I be like their sexiest that self. It wasn't one woman. That it was like we're giving all of these. We're not singling somebody out to be mm. like, oh, it's funny because like you're old. Uh, right. We're giving you a thong because that's funny. It's like all of these women would be like, oh, we got you all fun underwear. Right. Like, it doesn't make it. It's not like a. Per I don't like when gag gifts are like a personal like. It's funny, you know, because you eat a lot. Like I don't like you don't. I don't <laughs> right, want right, like, right, right. to be the joke. Yeah. Like this is not you're the joke. No, that, it's yeah. like. We got all the aunt's thongs. Isn't that so fun and funny? And if one of them is like, great, I wanted this, home run. If they did it with vibrators, mm. what do we think? It's still the same. Fun. Yeah. But I this think is, that would I be think fun. this is less like... I mean, some of the Tias uh, might know. be like into God and like... Yeah, yeah. Like, I think this is you know, probably the, the edge for this. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I would yeah. love to see... <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see any aunt in a thong. And honestly, that seemed like a fun, happy... Yeah. Time. That was they, a, none of them seemed embarrassed. No, that was a good, just I, fun... Wouldn't it be time. great if we had like sexy Christmas? Where these like, are like... We? <laughs> well, we, we all. We, well, instead Culture. of like culturally. Like what if there was like Christmas for the kids... And Such then, a, I didn't even put pieces together. Such a Jewish person person idea. Yeah. Sexy Christmas. <laughs> Tits and gifts. Dips Nobody on trees. Yeah. 2024. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, what if there was like, you know, instead, you know, they do like White Rabbit and they do like uh the the present exchange, Swap. like Secret Santa. Mm -hmm. What if there was like some version of like sexy Santa? Yeah. I don't know. I just think like That's I good. saw this and I was like, there were no kids around. Tia's opening thongs. I'm like, good for all of Half us. Half the Christmas like phrasing and songs are all sexual anyway. White like, Christmas. Santa's coming. Okay. Am like, I right? <laughs> White Christmas. This is uh, Nathan's new. Little um, drummer. What's he drumming? This is Nathan's new podcast. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a woman's called Problema uh, Problematic with Nathan McIntosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going along with the idea. Yeah. It's a hole in mine now. Yeah, yours uh, really went in a different direction. <laughs> okay, we are done with the regular episode of the J Train Podcast. Join us on Patreon. We do an email. We do an Am I Crazy Dog. Lots of fun. Patreon.com slash Jared Freed. Five bucks a month to get the end of every episode, plus some extra podcasts, coffee with J Train, things like that. So go on over to Patreon and join us.